someone on my private discord showcased this new product called cursor and it's actually amazing it's an ai first code editor which allows you to build software faster in an editor and it's designed for pair programming with ai it's also used to just assist you with your day-to-day -day operations whenever you're working with code or just basically working with large code bases or information now, there is also a copilot feature within Cursor, and this is natively going to be able to autocomplete certain components. There's a chatbot component, and there's also many other features that we're going to be exploring throughout today's video. Now, just take a look at this demo video, which showcases Cursor further in detail. But before we move on forward, allow me to introduce today's video sponsor, Kahoom. Kahoom is an all-in-one 3D design platform where you can build a 3D home in just 10 minutes. You're going to be able to render a stunning visual in also just around 10 seconds quite efficiently and quite effectively. They have integrated AI as a key component to their software so that you can generate high quality images and videos from style templates as well as text within a couple of seconds. Once you have signed up with Kahoom, you can head over to the workspace and you're going to be able to load up the dashboard where you can create your own project and you can basically import room templates or style templates. For example, I'm going to be choosing this loaf living room. We're going to be able to see that it is auto generating using the help of AI to generate this room template. And the cool thing is that you're going to be able to customize your designs with a simple drag and drop UI where you can input certain components to your design. Now, once you have created your design, you can click on the image and video button. This is where you can get a 360 walkthrough of the design that you have created. And you can select different resolutions and images as well as video formats to get an export. And you can see on the right hand side, you get a good image as to what you have created. You have a 3D floor plan with instant and accurate 2D drawings. You can simply just upload a 2D image or CAD file to automatically get editable 3D floor plans. If you are to go over to the AI section, you can head over to the AI. AI template section where you can have it so that the AI generates the whole house for you which is really cool to see and you're going to be able to see and have it depict a quite appealing visual representation of the design that you have just created and that's about it for Kahoom this is a great home design software that you should definitely take a look at with the links in the description below so with that thought guys let's get right back into the video Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Cursor, which is an AI-driven code editor. This is something that revolutionizes software development by enabling you to work faster and more efficiently. It's tailored to understand your project, where it's going to eliminate the need to, for extensive researching and having it so that you provide the AI the contextual relevant answers. And in this case, it's going to be assisting with the code navigation itself going to understand and make changes to your whole code base and it's going to log these edits as you go and work with it now you can integrate this quite seamlessly with your code base and it's going to offer easy access to different documentations and definitions it's something that is incorporating ai so that it provides logic writing and it has the capability to allow you as a developer to concentrate on higher level tasks while it is actually handling the low level details automatically so this is something that will work autonomously as you're working with the code. Now, Cursor's natural language editing and code generation feature is something that I truly like the most because it's going to simplify the coding process. And it's something that we're going to take a look at as we take a look at further demos. It's going to basically enable you to make broad changes with minimal efforts. And this is something that has the capability with its whole pilot kit that has been integrated within Cursor. It's going to be able to anticipate the next move 
offer suggestions, as well as just basically assist you with debugging certain components. It's going to enhance the overall workflow when you're coding, and it's something that will basically assist you super easily when you're working with certain things. You might be wondering, like, why would you actually download this rather than just using VS Code with a custom plugin that assists you with all of these different things, such as debugging, assisting you with a copilot? Well, the main reason is because this is something AI is fundamentally built as a backbone, whereas a Visual Studio Code is just a simple IDE that is a standalone project that can assist with various programming languages. In this case, you have an integrated backbone of AI which is going to be used towards every component of all the features that Cursor provides, and it's going to help you in various use cases. Now, you may be wondering, why is this guy showing you a pricing structure? Well, don't worry, you can use this completely for free, and you're going to be able to get a lot out of this. You're going to be able to get 200 queries with GPT 3.5 and 50 with GPT 4. So this is more than enough, in my opinion, and it should assist you in various use cases. So you can get started by downloading it for Windows or Mac OS. So I'm going to quickly just download it and showcase how easy it is. It's going to give you an exe file. You simply just need to install and open that exe file and it's going to start installing cursor onto your desktop. And within a couple of seconds, you're going to have it fully installed. Now, a really cool thing is that you can import default VS code key bindings, or you can even use JetBrains and many of the others that are listed over here in this drop down menu. Now, what we're going to be doing is just utilizing VS Code. It's simple and easy. You can specify a language. You can enable it so that its compute embeddings are for code based wide questions. You can configure the code line. And this is something that you can actually play around with afterwards. But what we're going to be doing now is just simply clicking continue and just having it so that it uses it from scratch. Now, you can also implement the VS Code extension, which will instantly import your extension settings, key bindings from VS Code. So, in this case, we're just going to start from scratch. But if, in this case, I truly recommend that you use this extension because it will be able to import all the previous ex extensions that you may have on VS Code. But what we're going to be doing is just starting from scratch because we're going to be showcasing what you can do with this. You have different data preferences. You can help improve cursor or you can have it on privacy mode so that your data is completely private and local. I'm going to click continue. Now, what we're going to be doing is just simply signing up. But in this case, you can just skip for now. Now, what we're going to be doing is then heading over to Cursor, and you can see that it's going to be quite similar to VS Code, exactly the same. You have Welcome to Cursor. Here are the basics, prompt and edit. You can highlight code and hit Command K. So what this feature is that if you head over back onto Cursor, you can head over to the feature step, and they basically say that Command K lets you edit and write code with the AI. You can just simply try selecting some code bits, you can then click edit and then describe how you want the code to be changed. And this way it's going to be able to generate completely with new code. And you can just simply just type in command K without selecting anything. This is a great way for you to auto complete code. You can have it so that it suggests you different things and specify what you want it to basically insert within that component. So what you can do in this case is just have it highlighted. You can then select add or add to chat. You can specify what you want to edit and then just press command K and it will make the changes. You can also accept autocomplete. You can try typing it and hit tab when you see a suggestion. So if you're writing code, you just simply type in tab and it's going to be able to autocomplete that sentence or that code snippet. You can ask questions by typing in command L to open the chat. You can use the at function to import files or documentations. You can highlight code with a hit command shift plus L. And this is the focus on AI on a particular piece of code. You can try with the code base and there's various other components that you should definitely take a look at as you go further into the video. So since it's actually using GPT-4, I'm going to be just asking it to generate Python script and we can just see if we're going to be able to edit certain components with the features that Cursor has. So what we're going to be doing is just creating a new file. You can go to a file, sorry, but what we're going to be doing is creating a new one. So I am going to create a new text file. And in this text file, I'm going to basically go to the chat component, which is on the right-hand side. And I'm going to say that, write me a Python script for a snake game using high game. And I'm going to click enter. Now I have it in caps lock. I'm going to need to sign up. So once I have signed up, I'll be right back and we can get forward with this example. All right, just a quick tip before you start signing in. I took a little bit longer and trying to 
oh, how I can sign in. I clicked on the settings button. I clicked on sign up or sign in, but it wouldn't actually prompt up to the sign in page. And that's where it had told me in the forums that you got to close your Chrome extension. So you got to close all your browsers. And then once you have closed it, it's going to be able to prompt open a new prompt or a new window, sorry. And that's where you're going to be able to sign up with a Google account or a GitHub account. And once that is done, you can see that you have your account linked in. Now, once you have your account linked, you can head over to the models tab and you can configure all these other models. You can include Claude 3 Opus, which is really good for code. You have Cursor Small, GPT 3.5 Turbo, which you can also turn on. And you can also have GPT 4 Turbo running. You can also include your own model. You can also input your own open AI API key. And you can also do that within Thropic. Now, if you go to the features tab, you have all these other features that you can work with and turn on and basically turn off if there's an error with certain features. Now, since we have added and signed up with an account, we can head over back to this and then send over a prompt. So here we go. We're going to start generating the code. And in this case, we can see that there is a button over here where you can click on this play button and it will basically add it to your script over here. And we can see that it is copying and pasting the generated code that it is basically generating from GPT-4 and it is pasting it all the way over here. And we can see that it has now generated the script for this game. And you can see that this game is now functional. I can play around with it. I can play the snake game. Like I can't actually eat the food that you're supposed to be collecting. But we can see that we can actually go back and fix this. So we can chat with the component over here and basically specify that this game is functional but it is not allowing me to collect the food and the snake doesn't actually grow so you can then specify it will fix the component and it will then re-edit the code the components that it made an error with and it will then make it functional again now something that many of us will love is the copilot plus plus feature this is the native autocomplete feature which is going to help you assist in generating code will suggest you code that is relevant for the prior context that is it is actually going to read through and it's going to be able to generate that code for you. There's a chat component as we explored. You have symbols where you can incorporate files and in different docs from other areas. And this is a great way for you to easily integrate other answers or other sorts of info right into your code base. You have code base answers and so much more. So I'll leave all these links in the description below, but that's basically a brief, brief overview of what Cursor is. This is something that you should definitely take a look at because it is truly amazing and there's a lot to it. So I'll leave a link to all these different things that we that taken a look at throughout today's video. Make sure you follow us on Patreon if you haven't already. It's a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI subscriptions that we give out completely for free. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. Great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas